tales tell of a man who, in an age of darkness and despair, possessed the fortitude necessary to withstand the terrors outside his door by staying inside and playing through every game on Xbox Game Pass. Watch as this man shoots, strategizes, simulates, platforms, visual novels is, and roleplays his way through a library of over 200 games. Enemies will be vanquished, hard drives will be clogged, but will be hurt, as this man embarks on an endless journey through every game on Game Pass. Hello everybody and welcome back to Black Beanie Gaming. My name is Murphy for the Hello everybody and welcome back to Black Beanie Gaming. My name is Murphy and this is the long-awaited continuation of the EGOG or Every Game on Game Pat. Every Game on Game Pat. Now back in the past, I went to a website, set up a wheel with all the names on it, and we would pick it at random. But it turns out that Game Pass for PC already has a random selection wheel. So I've already gone through and selected 10 games that we are going to play in this episode. They were selected completely at random. Absolutely zero consideration has been given to genre, rating, compatibility, anything. And as always, before we get started, please check out the links in the video description down below to follow along, to follow to check us out on social medias as well. Please check out the links in the video. As always, why don't you understand? Check out the links in the video description down below to figure out how you can support the channel through Patreon or by becoming a YouTube member, as well as to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, to join the subreddit and to become a Discord server member. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> and without much further ado, let's get started. So this is our first game, Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling. This music is unbelievably loud. I have the volume turned down for you, but for me it is unbelievably loud. Type in a file name! There we go. Is Murphy okay? What is this? Bugs, Bugs Life, the pre-sequel? I'm just a bug. I'm just a bug. Can't go anywhere, even though I'm a bug. Man, this bug is caked up. 75% of its body is ass. I know their wings. We can both perform one action per round. Oh, it's turn-based. If I hold down long enough, I can power up my horn strike. <laughs> I was hoping I'd get to use my horn. <laughs> if I press A at the right time, I can power up my beamerang. Let me fight. Let me fight. is to go even further beyond! <laughs> I don't care about this bee, I hope they die. The hell is that? Is this like a That's a snail! He's got a big shell. <coughs> I understand my wife is upset, but there's nothing we can do until the rocks are cleared. Is this your wife? These rocks are getting in the way of our trade routes! Oh my gosh. This this is literally like the Phantom Menace. Look at this presentation! Fun, adorable little bugs! What's it about? Trade routes! Yeah! Oh no! Ba-boom! Just a beetle and a bee. You can't beat us. All right, that that was that was bordering on fun. Bug fables and the everlasting sapling. Up next is a game that transports us all the way to the Magic Kingdom, and that game is, of course, Disneyland Adventures. It's so loud. Why is it so loud? We're here. It's Disneyland. And there's Mickey Mouse! I can only be a white boy or a white girl? Use your face. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be too Disney for a second. There we go, I guess this is my character. Nice to meet you, miss! 
Nice to meet you, miss. My name's Mickey Mouse. My name's Mickey Mouse. Uh, do you think you could ask Donald to sign this? Ew, look buddy? at his tail. I'd sure appreciate it. Why have I never looked at Mickey's tail? Did you forget what you were going to say? <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget what you were going to say? I've got uh, places to be. <laughs> well, uh, here we are. You want to say something oh, back to me? Thanks for getting Donald's autograph for me. I'm <laughs> he just exited out of the conversation on his own. Oh my god, that was great. Oh my Jesus, look how high you can jump. You! You're my new dad! Come back here! I was abandoned at this park two years ago! All of the costumed freaks are talking to me! Oh god, I need to get someone's help. This is, this is a horror story. This is a child trapped in Disneyland. Being forced by talking animatronics, sentient animatronics, to do menial tasks. You, please, please, you have to help me. Please, no. Don't walk away from me. <laughs> Don't walk away from me. Oh god, not again. I jump over this fence? Nope. I clearly can- I have the clearance. Clearly. But I can't go over the fence. Can I- can I go on the rides? I can go in the store. Why can't I go on the ride? <laughs> Disneyland telling you what's important. No, don't worry about the rides. Spend your money. If you're lucky, you'll find some coins scattered on the ground. This child is literally stuck in this theme park, forced to, forced to survive on change she finds on the ground. I'm trying to find change so I can buy a bus ticket to finally get home and find the family that abandoned me. Can I exit the game? Return to park. Options, controls, credits, change avatar. Quit game. You have to scroll so far away. <laughs> a, a masterpiece, ladies and gentlemen. Disneyland Adventures. An adventure in corporate propaganda and monotony yes child scurry on the ground find the coins okay our next game is called last stop i have absolutely no idea what this is or what it's about i guess we'll see okay a game by variable state press any button to play so far all i see is that it involves signs london okay london 1982 What on earth are you doing? Oh, this is straight up visual novel. Okay. Guess we're going down. Guess we're going down. Huh? You're late. Uh, hi? You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. Radioactive, get back! How do you know that? Sam! They're over there! Son? So be it. Wait! You're nicked. The other one's through that door! Gotcha! Sorry, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Prologue, step one. Run around and open a door. A job interview? Do you value all human life? <laughs> More or less? Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Depends on what I stand to gain. Are you capable of suicide? What is happening? Thank you, Miss Hughes. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Did I get the job? Where's your face, bro? Mina! Oh, come on Mina over. Hughes! <laughs> Ignore these mannequins I was talking to. Okay, this the narrative in this game is going to extend far beyond what I'm able to show you. Come for a checkup, have you? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> she 
knocked him out. He is all business. Oh, for God's sakes, this crap. I can open every door automatically. I can get in and out of buildings automatically. Right I can hail a cab, cheat on my husband automatically, but I can't, for the life of me, pour my own glass of water. Okay, this is a little weird, but it is very interesting. The camera angles aren't the best, but it is cinematic. Um, This is called Last Stop. If you're intrigued by what you see, feel free to check it out on Game Pass or wherever, but I've got to move on. <laughs> All right, moving right along into our next game, Medal of Honor Airborne Assault. Ooh, boy. Here we go, Medal of Honor Airborne. My dude, how are you gonna maneuver yourself directly under my feet? Oh, no. Oh, ah! Where am I going? Show me! Ow! Ow! My face! My entire body! The controls here are not so intuitive. How do you reload? You can't move and aim at the same time? You can only rock back and forth? That is incredibly counterintuitive. Wait, what did I just press? A is reload, seriously? Let's go throw all my grenades. Go for it. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Coming down, boys. Didn't hurt at all. Didn't even sprain my ankle. I was actually really excited to play this, and I am utterly underwhelmed. I don't care about graphics or dated gameplay mechanics, but even- you can't move, you can't strafe, you can't do anything? You can't do a damn thing except do this? Let's see what our next game has in store here. Narita Boy! A game with its own theme song. Ooh, old retro. It's been five minutes, I haven't played anything yet. Hello. Need to talk to the motherboard. This is a pre-recorded message for the true instant digital hero, Narita Boy. Yes, motherboard, I will do your bidding as long as I get to play a game. Go to the Techno Father's Castle to get the Techno Sword. Cool. Woo! Okay, I gotta jump over that. Give me that sword, baby! I can see! I can fight! Not very well, but I can do it. Please stop stopping the game so I can actually play it, please. Nice. I am a man now. A man with a sword. Narita Boy reminds me an awful lot of Dead Cells, except Dead Cells was an amazing, amazing game. It's pretty cool. I would check it out if I were you. I had fun with it for about 20 minutes. <laughs> Moving on to our next game, The Ascent. I've actually heard a lot of good things about this game, so let's get into it. Also, I know absolutely nothing about this game, so we're gonna learn as we go along. It'll be fun. We got our character. What do I do? Are you a bad guy? It's isometric. That's fine. And the graphics are really good. I mean, all things considered, obviously. Mission status. Press the D-pad at any time if you're currently confused as shit and you don't know what's going on. Nice. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Aim high by holding LT to shoot over small enemies and obstacles. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Oh! 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 Oh, shit, sweet mother of Jesus! That's right, you better run! Get back here! Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Ah! Nice. Okay, so that's cool. You can aim higher so you can aim over stairs. Like, see him on the stairs? Now I can aim above the stairs to shoot them over obstacles. That's so cool. I can definitely see why this is a co-op game. 
Oh, sweet Jesus, there's so many of them. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Ah! Where are they coming from? You, get out of the way! Oh! This game is pretty fun. I like that you can aim high and aim low. Walk around in an isometric point of view. Reminds me of like older RPGs, older dungeon crawlers. Definitely gets my thumbs up. The Ascent. Check it out. Okay, moving right along to our next game. The Gardens Between. Let's check it out, see what it's all about. A couple of people chilling in a treehouse in the rain. Oh. See, whenever there's a magical time orb, everybody has to touch the magical time orb. Nobody can just leave the magical time orb alone. Now look at you. You're stuck on an uncharted island. Oh my. Oh, this is interesting. You control time. Ah. Am I the time orb? Am I the time orb? Is Murphy okay? I did it! Ring the bell, get an orb. Oh, does that thing steal my orb? <gasps> it steals my orb. This is really cool. This game has a weird kind of vibe. It's like a blend between Celeste, Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, and Journey. The Gardens Between, I recommend this one. Highly recommend. I can't, I'm probably gonna hang on to this one and see if I can finish it. Okay, moving on to the next game. Two Point Hospital. So far the experience has been a little laggy and unresponsive-y. Is the cold, clammy environment of your dialysis center leaving you feeling unwelcome? Well come to Two Point Hospital, where the island vacation of your dreams is just two failing kidneys away. Two Point Hospital is not responding. That was faster. Yay! There it is. Begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. Receptionist, great. We'll need an assistant to run reception. Let's hire one now. Oh my, this one's good, but they're really expensive. Charlie Peregrine, cheapest one of the bunch. Have fun, Charlie. General practitioner's office, great. Before we officially open, we need a general... Blah. Room, okay, whatever. All right. Ah, uh, good. Now we'll need a doctor to run the office. Hire one now. Okay, hire. Oh my. $19,000. We're trying to make money at this hospital. Paul, you're hired. Who are you? Got an appointment with the general practitioner. We've diagnosed our first patient. The general practitioner has sent you a message. Grout? <laughs> Not gout, but grout. Our patient is suffering from the sh that puts tiles together on your bathroom floor. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need pharmacy in order to treat them. There we go, a pharmacy. Hire a nurse. Okay, nurse. Eh, you're cheap. Boink. Face to face, just like a regular <laughs> hospital. <laughs> they just cured a patient. Cool. Janitor's maintenance. I don't care. Let it be dirty. Hire a janitor. Fine. I'll hire a janitor. God damn. Jake Row, you're the cheapest. Go clean some stuff over there. Staff energy and breaks. I don't care. You're not going to take a break. This is a hospital. Build a toilet. Oh, shoot. I need a toilet. Body room. <laughs> I like how people are in here, like, getting their diagnosis, and the people, like, in here just blasting sh** all over the place. Oh, no. Is this person dying? Oh, no! Somebody died! What do I do? These nuts. <laughs> oh, dear. A patient appears to have returned from the dead. We'll need a janitor with a ghost capture qualification? Nice. I'm... Beyond relieved, the janitor had a dustbuster capable of soaking up a ghost. Okay, two-point hospital. 
actually really fun. I recommend. Definitely check it out. And as for our next game, Yik! A postmodern RPG. Hello there. General, Welcome to the wonderful world of Yik. That said, Y2K. I'm just gonna call it Yik. In case you were confused by the font choice in the logo. <laughs> Right after you do the settings, you have to explain to people playing it what your game is called. It's that someone play tests the game and they're like, oh, I thought this was called Yik. And rather than change the logo, they're just like, oh, well, I just have a bird explain it. The developers thought it would be a cool idea to make the two a Roman numeral for some reason. I do not like this art style at all. I feel bad saying that, because someone obviously worked very hard on this, but I'm just... I'm not vibing with this. On April 4th, 1999, I arrived home from school. On April 4th, 1999, I arrived home from school. This is like... one of those old point-and-click Nickelodeon games. Oh my god, I really just don't like the look... of this game. Hungry man. Oh, it's you. No, I'm not disappointed. It's just I thought you were pizza. Is, is there a point to anything that's happening right now? I'm gonna be quite frank, I hate this. Can I just, can I just get out of this game, please? This is terrible. That's, it's not a fun game. It's trying to blend like Undertale's self-awareness with like the rocket power video games aesthetic. I'm sorry, whoever the hell worked on that. That was garbage. Let's see what some of these reviews are saying. <laughs> Yik, more like yikes. <laughs> <laughs> On to our last game of the episode, Ukulele and the Impossible Layer, which looks like it's an actual game, instead of some weird pretentious post-irony hogwash. Oh yay, a side-scroller! The graphics are pretty good. Let's say that jump. I can do that. Use X to attack or roll. Okay. Yeah, dude, straight up Crash Bandicoot vibes with this one. Ah, uh, Boris, my favorite employee. Yuka will never get past you. No, you bashed Boris. Sorry, I murdered your friend. This is straight up Crash Bandicoot. What? <laughs> you just stuffed something in my mouth? What was that? Okay, this, this game is cute. It's cute. I like it. Okay. Okay. I'm sold. I'm sold. It's cute. It's a side-scrolling platformer. It's got nice cartoony graphics. I'm a fan of Rayman. I'm a fan of Crash Bandicoot. So I dig it. This is good. Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. There's nothing wrong with a competent game doing what other games have done for years. All right, everybody, that was a lot of fun. We had some studs and duds in there. First up, we had Bug Fables. Fairly generic, you know, kid-centric, turn-based RPG. Pretty forgettable. Disneyland Adventures was not a game. That was that was a straight up advertisement for Disney World. Don't even don't even bother. Last stop was interesting. Wasn't crazy about the opening. It looks to be that type of game, just a visual novel kind of anthology. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's fine. Battle of Honor Airborne is it is straight updated. If you didn't play it when you were a kid, don't bother playing it now. I'm sure back in the day it was fine, but today, no. <sighs> Narita Boy was an interesting, like, synthwave, 80s vibe, retro platformer, like, hack and slash. It, sure, I'd check it out. The Ascent is not a single player game. Definitely squad up with some people and play that. It's got some decent shooting mechanics, it's got awesome graphics. I was enjoying what little time I managed to spend with that. The Gardens Between was an interesting little puzzle game. Reminded me of a couple of really good indie games that I played back in the early 2010s, uh, primarily Brothers A Tale of Two Sons and Journey. It's good, I recommend it. Two Point Hospital is dumb and fun. 
100% recommend that. I might actually keep that game. Yik, a postmodern RPG is the worst game I've played in the last couple of years. Avoid. And Ukulele and the Impossible Lair, fairly bog standard side-scrolling platformer, uh, Crash Bandicoot mixed with Rayman. It's not exceptional in any way, but it looks good. And honestly, since when is competent a bad thing? It's fun. It's fine. But if you don't play it, you're not missing anything. Okay, everybody, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you guys like this, and I'll be back next time with a bunch of other games. Thank you so much for sticking with this. Thank you so much for asking me to do another one of these episodes. If you guys like it, just let me know down in the comments below, and I'll make more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, comment your thoughts down below, follow the links in the description to join us on social medias, and to see how you can support this channel by becoming a patron or a YouTube member. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.